News Channel 13 at 6 o'clock. I'm Heather Scold. And I'm Bart Bedsall. We begin with a spike in the number of pot busts here in southern Colorado. In El Paso County, the sheriff's office says it has seen more than 500 illegal grows. That's twice as many as last year. And at a recent county commissioner's convention, lawmakers from El Paso County said they don't have the resources to deal with the growing number of illegal grows. One commissioner blames the legalization of pot and the governor for the rise. The governor stated that he would uh, that he's providing resources to the counties to deal with these issues, but I'm not aware of budget dollars being sent to El Paso County to deal with this specific issue. I, I recently heard the governor say that he, he thinks that there are fewer drug dealers in Colorado now as a result of the legalization of marijuana. Yeah, that seems to fly in the face of what we've seen here in El Paso County. A spokesperson for the sheriff's office said the number of raids and arrest warrants related to illegal gross has also doubled and keeping up with enforcement means pulling resources from other divisions within the sheriff's office. Just this past Friday, crews from six different agencies were called to a fire at a marijuana grow south of Yoder. In total, firefighters used more than 42,000 gallons of water to put out the flames there. Detectives have ruled the fire suspicious, but have not confirmed if the grow was illegal or not. And in Teller County, the sheriff says he's now targeting illegal marijuana grow operations. It's a challenge in rural communities, which are home to many private secluded areas. Cardio News Channel 13's Dana Clements is live in our broadcast operations center with how and why the county is zeroing in on illegal growers. Heather, the crackdown begins January 1st. The sheriff's office will be ramping up investigations, hoping to bust an average of one grow every two weeks, but they need the community's help to do it. The countdown to the crackdown is on. We don't want the illegal marijuana grow in our community. Next year, the Teller County Sheriff's Office will focus on eradicating all illegal grows in the area. Illegal marijuana brings in cartel elements. These, they bring in the organized crime elements. This isn't just your local thefts and burglaries and things of that nature. These are organized crimes, uh, organizations that we don't want in our communities. The campaign officially starts January 1st, but the Teller County Sheriff's Office has already been preparing. Commander Greg Couch took me along to show me the areas they're watching. We already have surveillance conducted on approximately 30 to 50 illegal marijuana grows here in the county. They found out about many of those grows thanks to tips from the community. We'll be obtaining a lot of search warrants in the coming weeks and executing those and we'll be on the road to eradicating this problem. Because these grows put everyone in danger. This exposes them to potential crimes, assaults, robberies, home invasions, uh, homicide. The campaign all starts with those community tips. We're coming for those folks. And what I'd like the community to know is partner with us. Let us know where they're at and we'll, we'll make sure to find them. The simple rule of thumb, if you see something, say something. You could help in their goal of shutting down 30 grows. The sheriff's office says they will investigate each tip, conduct surveillance, execute search warrants, then make arrests. They'll be using help from other law enforcement agencies as well. Reporting live in the Broadcast Operations Center, Dana Clemens, KRDO News Channel 13. Dana, thanks. In Pueblo, millions in marijuana